Recovery of the instrumentation pods ejected from the Starfish missile involved pre-dawn ship, patrol plane, and helicopter convergence in the splash area, drawn by radio signals, flashing lights, and green dye. As soon as the pods were fished from the water, they were taken to the Johnston Island recovery area for removal of the scientific instrumentation. The second bluegill attempt was made on 25 July, but a one-of-a-kind missile misadventure caused by a sticking fuel valve destroyed the Thor and its warhead on the pad. The pad itself suffered extensive damage including long-life radioactive contamination. Repairs to permit another try at Bluegill caused a significant delay. Additional construction on Johnston Island during this interim as well as the scheduling of more shots, reflected the value attached to the testing being carried out on Operation Dominic. Three more high-altitude effects missile events were added to secure data at different heights. Also, five more over-ocean airdrops were scheduled, these to take place within the Johnston Island danger area. Besides a second Thor launch pad, the construction included facilities for the launch of XM-33 rockets and Nike Hercules missiles. The U.S. Army deployed a missile battery to provide launch support for the Nike Hercules missiles, which were scheduled both as nuclear warhead and instrumentation vehicles. Subscribe to take a trip back in time.